Ahí está. Really? In English, in English. <laughs> yes, because I appear, right? That's because of that. Come on. Hi, girls. How are you? Very good. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Aha. Uh -huh. She's like, we just speak English and English. Huh? You speak Spanish, right? No way. How's your day going so far? So far, it's good? Yeah? Yes. Cool. Yay. All right. Was it relaxed or was it really horrible traffic today? Traffic was crazy. Terrible, right? Yes. And I don't know why. I think because it's Friday, most of the people got paid. <laughs> and uh, I don't know, but everybody decided to like get out and take the cars with them. So, oh my goodness. <gasps> wow. It was terrible. It was really, really terrible. Yeah. You know what? I had another because I work in a like a hospital, right? I'm letting you know about that. And uh, the Salvador team is supposed to have like a little meeting today. And I think it's Las Cascadas. Uh, they wanted like a hamburger. So they said, hey, come and join us. Like, and I said, no. If I, have, if I go with them, definitely I'm not going to give them classes. Because can you imagine? They're supposed to arrive at 5.30 p.m. But of course not, right? The traffic is like horrible. So nobody was on time. I was having the, everybody was chatting. Hey, where are you? I'm um, 10 minutes away. I'm 15 minutes away. No, oh my God, no. So that's, the, I, I let them know. Yeah, you know what? I'm not going to go because mm -mm, I can't. Definitely, I know I can't. Uh, the traffic is really horrible. Yes. No, 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 no. So no way. <laughs> I prefer like- I went to to when near well near close to my house to have dinner with my husband yeah go ahead from the office mm -hmm. i went to um galerias yeah oh really oh, there no. was too much people too many people too many people and on the street uh -huh. was the uh, of crisis really full like chaotic really full yeah oh my goodness i don't know why no that's why and you have to avoid right the being in, in the middle of many people right now you gotta avoid that yes yes oh no way i'm sorry to hear that oh no 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 so i think today's not a good day to go out no now it's better to stay home right now mm -hmm. yeah yeah and tomorrow we'll go to my doctor so that will be good Hey, Sirham, you know what? No, That's okay. why I didn't say anything because yesterday I was letting the girls, <laughs> hey, it's girls night, blah, 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 blah. And then Carlitos Cruz appeared. And then you appeared. And so on. So I said, no, I better do not say anything today, just in case. Yeah, that's in case. <laughs> that's all that happens, right? So no way. <laughs> How's your day going, Sirham? Are you drinking a cup of coffee today as, as well? Oh. Like oh, Janet? Water. Water. Oh, water, sorry. Yeah, water. What about you, Janet? You drinking water? I'm, I'm done. Uh, I don't be drinking coffee. I drinking soda. Soda? Oh, you like Coke? Yeah. Yeah. You're a Coke holic. You know what that means, right? Coke holic? Yes. We are crazy about something. All righty. I'm a coffee holic. <laughs> You're a coke holic. What about you, Carlitos Antonio no, Polanco? Really? I like yeah. I like I like I like Coke, but I prefer coffee. Because oh, I, really? I yeah, because Coke you already have sugar. And coffee you can just drink with without sugar. So you don't you don't have at add too many calories on there. But sometimes you know what, like today, today one of well, one of the days, Janet, that I had to say yes to the Coke. Because I want to cook today. Yeah. So they say, oh, bring it on. Yeah, of course. Once in a while. Yeah, because I'm not a person who drinks Coke a lot or or chips or something like that. No, I don't like that. I don't like that. But uh, sometimes you just want like sweet bread, right? With Coca-Cola. Or sometimes you want to cook with churritos, right? Quesitos. I don't know. Sometimes you want that mix. Sometimes. I don't say every single day. No way. Because in it's really bad. It's bad for your health, of course. In, in coffee without without sugar. Without sugar, see, yeah. Okay. Because That's I correct. 
because uh, I can really taste the flavor of the coffee. Exactly. And at the same time, I can just get advantage of the vitamins that comes from the coffee. Exactly. That's why I love coffee a lot. And you know what? There's a place here uh, where I live in the, uh, right above Cuscatlan Stadium, right on the mountains, like Heidi. <laughs> and uh, and I have my Peter Pedro who's here <laughs> with me. <laughs> All righty. So um, I, there is like a place near Antigua Cuscatlan what it calls uh, Green Soy. Actually, you can have a really amazing coffee there. You cannot imagine. It is like vegan food. Vegan. Food. Vegan food. Yeah. Oh, it's really good. I have tried a, a hamburger. Uh, nice. with soy meat and all the stuff and all, all vegetables right included and but the bread was made based on curcuma oh you know what there's uh, there's another word for curcuma turmeric as well turmeric is in english so basically you know what it's really good it was amazing the flavor I, didn't, I, I love it hey have you tried already the golden milk guys no yet not yet but <gasps> i i hope so this Sunday. Oh yeah, you know what? Because uh, of my brain problems, uh, sometimes it's really hard for me to like fall, go to sleep. But I drink like a gold milk and you cannot imagine like in 45 minutes or at least an hour, I'm like, like that. Like Lucky, right? Like Lucky, right Carlitos? Lucky is all the time sleeping during the class. So like that. No, today is... Is he awake? Really? That's a miracle. I think it's because he knows that it's Friday. <laughs> that could be. Yeah, the computer knows, the doggy knows that it's Friday. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> Mr. Sirhan, is that was your baby girl or your baby boy? Yes, yes. How old uh, is him? Oh, it's, uh, it's a girl? It's a boy. It's a boy. Oh, cool. Lucas. Oh, Lucas? Look. Lucas Skywalker. <laughs> yeah. Look. Look, look, look oh my god he looks exactly like you yes yeah yes. right this is, oh he's this so is he's so handsome hi, hi, hi. baby hi. how are hi. you hi hi hey where's the baby hi. where's the baby <gasps> i found the baby yeah it's over there hi Hi, you're so handsome. Bye bye. bye. Has and kisses. <laughs> bye. Oh. Oh my God, you're drinking like a dog. Get out of here. Come on, say hi, don't be like that. Oh my God, he's so sweet. Yeah, he's cute. He looks exactly like Sir Him. Yeah, right, girls? Yeah. Yeah. And he said that he's two years old. No, four G. Oh, four, oh, four, four. Mm -hmm. Oh, but it's really nice. He's the one that you need to take to the um, to the to the classes, right? To school. See, yeah. Don't speak but, Spanish. Yeah. I promise that I'm going to say. No, yesterday I was supposed to say bye bye to you in Spanish, right? But I forgot. Sorry, I will try to do my best today. Okay, I I will try. I do not promise, but I will try. Hey, talking about promises and everything, I remember. The, we had a hunger. Am I correct? Yes. Yeah. And Jan is like, don't look at me like that with those eyes. <laughs> All righty. So <laughs> uh, I remember that you were supposed to uh, send an email to your EPAL, right? Well, hey, what is an EPAL, guys? What's that is, what does EPA mean? It's a friend for only email. Exactly. That you met the friend online. Very, very good. So you're supposed to... Your friend is supposed to visit here in Salvador. You're supposed to pick up your friend with somebody here from the class, right? So I don't know who's going to start. Let me double check. What? Hmm. Okay, I'm thinking a number between one and 11. Can I have a number, Mr. Carlitos Antonio Polanco? What? Can I have I'm a number? Start. Yeah, can I? No, no, no. Can I have a number no. between one and 11? Or if you want to start? You can 11, do it. One to 11. Yes. Okay, number five. No, close, but no. <laughs> okay, Zero, what about you? Um, seven? No, close, but no. Steffi? Um, six? 
yes, you're the lucky one. <laughs> Remember that yesterday she was the lucky one, but she was the luckiest one because she forgot to do her homework because she was not in class. But now she was in class yesterday. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So you're the lucky one, Steffi. You can read us your email. Okay. And we need to guess because Steffi is going to the airport to pick the EPAL, but it's going to pick one of you guys to go with her. So let's listen who decides to go with. Okay, Steffi, the microphone is all yours. Okay, I copy some words of so the email. Okay. And um, I, I, I think the email that I sent is to Eu, but she is not here. Okay, that's okay, no problem. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> okay. Um, dear Eu, I, I'm glad to hear to meeting, uh, meeting you at the airport at noon uh, Saturday. Uh, my brother is coming with me. Uh, I attached is a photo of both, of both, both of us, of us, uh -huh. both of us. Uh, as you can see, uh, he's in, in teens, mm -hmm. he's in teens and I in 20. <laughs> so um, my brother is fairly tall in Kitty, mm -hmm. and he has a, a stray hair, and I, in my, in me, I have a, a curly hair, and I am medium height, medium height, and I think I'm a, a chubby. I don't know. <laughs> Are you showing me? Oh, I think. Of course uh, not. <laughs> Very good. That's it. I I hope I see you soon. And Yay. that's it. Very good. Excellent. Good job. Very good. Not too bad. So your your brother is tall. Very tall. Oh. Wow. And really, and he's slim. Es delgado, pero es que me confundo. No, it's because we have three things. We have thin, skinny, and slim. All of them related what to... What is people. the difference? Uh, the, the, um, the weight, for example. Thin is that is like you're uh, almost you can see the bones of the person, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like that. Um, then skinny is a person... That is between is is you cannot see the, the the bones, but has more meat for what I can say, right? And the slim is a person that is like normal person. It's not fat, it's not shabby. Okay, so that's the difference. That's the mm, okay. depends on the structure of the person. Yes, yeah, sometimes it is. For example, most of the models, most of the models are slim. Most of However, there are some that are thin. Very, yes, oh no. And that is unhealthy, no way. Very good, very good, excellent. And next, A, hey, Steffi, pick another of your classmates. Who you want to continue? Today, you are the English teacher. <laughs> Dear Han. Sir Han, I knew it. I don't know why everybody loves him. Okay, <laughs> all righty, very good. <laughs> Mr. Sir Han, you have been picked. So it's okay. your turn. Okay. Uh, there, a uh, teacher, what do you say? How uh, do you say? Say Luis or? No, Luis. Say Luis or Luis? Luis. 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 In Luis. There, Luis. I'm meeting for our the April at morning on Monday. Okay, Monday My morning. My is coming with me. Okay. At, at, uh -huh. Attached is a, a photo about us. As you can see, we're both in our, our middle age. My friend is very tall mm -hmm. and he have a curly black hair mm -hmm. and he wearing red cap. 
and t-shirt blue. Or oh, one blue t-shirt. Exactly, yes, very and, good. I need, I very tall too. I have strained black hair. I wearing a sunglass and white t-shirt. I hope I see you soon. Very good. Hey, hey let me, you see, Steph is like, woohoo. Guys, who <laughs> do you think uh, Sirhan went to the airport with? I think that you pick Carlos Cruz, but I'm not sure. Or is somebody else, Sirhan? That is not in the somebody class. Else, somebody else. That is not uh, in the class. Else. Ah, okay. I, I thought you were supposed to pick one of your classmates, but that's okay. But that's okay. Very good job. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, thank you. Okay, Sir Hanel, it's your turn. You are the English teacher. Pick somebody else. Okay, uh, Janet. Janet, I knew it. <laughs> it's your turn, baby girl. Go ahead. My my email is yes. for Sir Han. Ah, okay. <laughs> Hi, my dear Sir Han. I'm going to meet you at the airport tonight with a new friend. He's coming from Copa, okay. You're going to love her. She's a pretty tall, straight, blonde hair, Ooh. clear skin, middle age, and pretty woman. She's an actress. <gasps> ah, Nicole Kidman, uh -huh, go ahead. One of, one of the most beauty and popular women of Hollywood. I attached a photo of my friend. Mm -hmm. And is she? Nicole Kidman. No. Oh, no, Scarlett Johansson. Yes. <laughs> and Sarah is like, oh my God. Jack Willow. Okay. I, okay. I hope to see you soon. <laughs> okay, very soon, please. <laughs> very soon, please. <laughs> I, you knew her, right, Janet? <laughs> uh, that was good. That was good. Excellent. Was good. Yeah, you like that email, don't you, Mr. Sirhan? Yes, it is. Oh, I like God. it. You see, his like, heart is beating like fast. <laughs> All righty, very good. Good job, Janet. Hey, who who you want to continue? Pick another body. Anybody else? Um, Kevin Villalta. Kevin. Kevin. I, I knew it by heart. Mr. Kevin, is your turn. Hopefully, he's here. Hopefully, Kevin, are you still here? Because sometimes he's a picture, but he's not here. It, it's, it's dinner too. It's dinner. Again, it's a dinner time, yeah. Like, so pick somebody else, Janet. I maybe he's having his dinner, okay. yeah. You're right, mm -hmm. maybe Stephanie Morales. Steffi, yeah, go ahead, Steffi. Is Steffi was here? Oh, uh, yes, think, teacher. I, okay, no, I don't know. I was asking. Okay, Steffi, it's your turn. Teacher, yo me perdí un ratito porque estaba haciendo otra cosa, entonces no entiendo qué están okay. haciendo. Okay, yesterday we were talking about um, that you're supposed to, to have a friend like you met for, um, during the internet, just email, email friend, but the friend is coming to El Salvador and you're going to pick your friend at the airport, but you're not going to go alone, Steffi, you're going to go with somebody else. So exactly what you have to do is like to describe yourself in the email and also describe the person that you're going to go with. Like, do you understand what I'm talking about? Un poco. Un poco? Um, let me check, let me check, let me check. Okay, for the first time in my life in this whole month, I'm going to speak Spanish. <laughs> Espero que se preparen porque no es muy bonito, pero bueno. Okay, Steffi, mira, te explico. Um, tú tienes un amigo que lo conociste vía internet. Eso se llama IPAL, ¿sí? Y viene a El Salvador. Y tú lo vas a ir a traer al aeropuerto. Pero no vas a ir solito. O solita en este caso. Vas a ir con alguien más. Entonces... Tú en ese email que le mandas a tu amigo, te tienes que describir a ti físicamente 
y tienes que describir físicamente a la persona que te va a acompañar al aeropuerto. ¿Estamos bien? Ok. ¿Qué tal mi español? Nadie me congratulations. Come on. ¿Cómo está mi español? Bueno, no, Mejor. Bien, bien. Muy bien. Ah, muchas gracias. Uh, bien, gracias. I'm improving. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, Stephanie, go ahead. Um, hi, Giancarlo. Oh, oh, okay, Giancarlo. So he's from Italy. Go ahead. Yes. Oh. Um, mm -hmm. I. I, yes. I'm going to go. I'm going to go to the airport. To the airport. To meet you. To meet you. On Saturday, for example. On Saturday. Mm -hmm. Okay. On Saturday. And then you continue. I I want you to recognize me and my friend. So let me describe it. And then you can you continue describing yourself. Okay. I this day mm -hmm. I wearing wearing. Mm -hmm. Um blue shirt. A blue shirt. A blue t-shirt. A blue t-shirt. Mm-hmm. And Short coffee. Okay. Coffee shirt. Okay. Can you describe and your appearance? Then, For example, you can describe how is your hair? Yes. How is your skin? I, if you're high, tall. Mm -hmm. I have a medium black and wavy hair. Okay. Um I are you tall, medium high, short? I am tall okay. and young. Okay. And what about your friend? My friend is Shavi. Shavi, okay. <laughs> and short. And short, uh huh. And you, you have. Uh, uh, mustache. He has a mustache. Okay. And 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 bald. Uh, and he's bald. Ah, yes. okay. <laughs> okay. Oh my God. Okay. Very good. Excellent. Good try, okay. Steffi. See, Thank you could you. do it. No, I know you could do it. All that you have to do is like relax a little bit. But very good. Excellent job. <laughs> thank you. No, thank you. Very good. Okay, now Jenny, it is your turn, Jenny. What about you, girl? Hi, teacher. Hey. Um, I I did not send email for any class. That's okay. Because, um, I I ha I have. I had sick, <laughs> sick. No, but, but that's okay. But, but uh -huh. I, 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 I can discretion uh, my friends. <laughs> I, uh -huh. uh, I can mm -hmm. discretion mm -hmm. my friends. You can discretion. I, I don't get it. Um, Spanish. <laughs> yeah, do your best. Okay. Yes, try to do it. Okay. Yo, yo no envié ni correo a nadie de la clase, pero puedo describir a mi amiga. Ah, okay. So you can describe. You can describe. 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 <laughs> Very good, Jenny. So you can, for example, let's say that you're going to go to the airport and pick Anita Romero, for example, at the airport. Ah, okay. But you're oh, going, okay. but you're going to go with somebody else in the class. You can go with Janet. You can go with Sirhan, with Carlitos Cruz, with Stephanie. I don't know. Pick somebody and you describe the other person that you're going to go with, and we need to guess who you are talking about. Okay. 
uh, a Janet. Don't say that. Don't say. No me digas. No me digas a ah, quién okay. vas a ir. Con okay. quién vas a ir. Solo empieza a describirla. Entonces, hoy ya no tienes que encoger a Janet porque tu amada sabe que ya es Janet. No way. Y hey, toda la amada. Es todo mundo. Ya ven que hasta el coloquialismo se me ha pegado. All right. No. I mean, with everybody. So you can pick anybody else. And Stephanie is laughing. Come on, Steffi. All right. So you can pick Sirenham, for example. O Carlitos okay. Cruz. I don't know. Ok, como que si él y yo hicimos un viaje, ¿no? Exactly, exactly. Ah, okay. And you're going to go to the airport and pick Janet, for example. Ok. Um, my, my friend and me are going, going to um, uh, visit the park. Uh -huh. in, in the park. And my friend... Uh, uh, is uh, my friend has mm -hmm. has um short short and black heart uh-huh hair uh -huh. hair and um, and he he wear wearer he wears he wears he wears a t-shirt t-shirt blue a blue t-shirt Blue t shirt and mm -hmm. and um, and drinking water in an orange <laughs> glass. I'm just kidding. Um, but short, short, brown, brown short. Okay, brown short. Uh -huh. Um, he he's middle uh, middle age. Middle age, okay. Middle age. Um, he's thin. He's thin. 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 All right. Thin. Oh, um, oh, okay. He, I don't know who's, who is from this class. Finish. That's it. Remember, that's it. Okay. So you go with who? With Sirham? Or with yes. Buddy? With Sirham? You think he's thin? I don't think he's thin. No, <laughs> no, but if he's not shabby, he's in shape. Oh, show me. No, show me. he's in shape. He's in <laughs> shape because he does a lot of exercises. Right, Sassy? Yeah. Okay. Very good. Excellent. Good job, girl. Very good job. Uh, Mr. Calitos Cruz, what about you? Hello, teacher. Hello. Hello. It's me <laughs> you looking, looking for. for can see you in your eyes. Oh, I'm just kidding. All right, go ahead. <laughs> and I cannot see your eyes right now. <laughs> so I'm going pretend that I can see them. Okay, very good. What about you, sir? Well, uh, it's an short Ipa. Okay, cool. Uh, no. yes. Hi, Andrea. You fly with Abril uh, to 1 p.m. I will pick you up at the airport. Mm -hmm. Let me go my cousin. He is a nice boy. He is a very tall, see, and funny. I see you will, you will come very hungry. So <laughs> that uh, we we'll go, we will go to eat to push us to our vuelta. I knew it. <laughs> yeah, is that interesting? <laughs> it's just like, yeah, yeah, I, I, I can go with you. <laughs> okay. Tu pusas tu lo cuelta. Would you like them? I can wait. Uh, I can. I can wait for for a new crazy adventure together. Aww. Like we do. Uh, like we do in Milano uh, the last year. Remember, oh. I teach chubby boy. I see you, bro. <laughs> that was awesome. Very good. Very good, Carlitos. That was great. And I, I was imagining all the trip, including the pupusas, right? The pupusas <laughs> stop. But yeah, of course. I don't know why, right? But we must stop at all the quilter, right? To eat pupusas. They are really nice. <laughs> yeah. I love the hot chocolate by heart. Mm, that is one of my favorite beverages. Is hot chocolate. It's dinner time. Oh, yes, it's dinner time. I already have my dinner. I already have my dinner. I don't know about you guys. Chocolate with milk. Oh, yeah. But my, you know what? My husband preferred 
chocolate with milk. I prefer just chocolate. But um, I en love dark la chocolate. Del diablo. Mm -hmm. In the devil, oh, in the diablo. devil gate, yeah. Eh, you can meet um, pupusas and chocolate with milk. Really? So delicious. Really? Oh, that's interesting. I think yes. we can go there. <laughs> Yeah, ah, now there's another place that I'm going to visit, okay, just for you, uh, um, because your suggestion. Okay, very good, thank you. Carlitos Antonio Polanco, what about you? Now it's your turn. He was like, when is going to be my turn, teacher? When is going to be my turn, teacher? Okay, there okay. you go. <laughs> okay, uh, Dune is my, my brother, Mario. Okay. I, I, I send the email. Okay, you send the email to Mario, okay. Yes. <laughs> Mario. This day, a friend will come to the house. I meet him playing on the internet. Mm -hmm. And I invited him home as, as a courtesy. But it's incredibly thoughtful. He called me and said, Carlos, I am uh, staying in El Salvador. And tell me your address and I'll get to your home. I'll get you to home. I didn't not i didn't forget your invitation brother pay attention <laughs> he's he's six feet tall uh, he's white he's six, six tall yeah he's yeah. tall he's white skin his hair is blonde his eye are blue his eyebrows are thin he is uh, he is about the four, four, 40s. 40s, uh, okay. And he think we're wearing a doctor's pants and white t-shirt. He is very famous. And, and please call the pupuseria. <laughs> He's saying, Carlos, uh, uh, call the pupuseria and buy the Cheese, chicharron, and beans with with, with cheese. With cheese, <laughs> yes. Please, because he loves the pupusas. Of course. Yes, he <laughs> loves the pupusas. I'm not tell you his name because uh, he is very famous, and uh, we have a lot of paparazzis. Oh, okay. I try to get. I try to get early. When you <laughs> see him, you won't believe it. Uh -huh. <laughs> he, he, tell your uh, your nickname. I am Jack. Oh. <laughs> okay. Movies. <laughs> Movies. Uh -huh. It is not by yeah. any Mr. Will, Robert Williams. No. No. Um, he is a uh, Jack. Don't remember the movie. Um, Jack. <laughs> Jack. Oh, it's not Brad Pitt. Leo DiCaprio? Leo DiCaprio? Yes. Oh, Leo no, DiCaprio. No, 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 no. Yes, I do. <laughs> yes, it is? Leo yes, DiCaprio? Yes. Oh my God, it's good. But you know because what? Because I love the pupusas too. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Hey, exactly. Yes, I remember that there was like an email, right? About that. Yeah, that he loves pupusas yeah. more than tacos, I think. <laughs> yeah. Yes. yeah, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, but that was nice. You know what? What I like, Carlito, is that you got it so exciting telling us your email. <laughs> uh, that was really nice. Very good, Carlitos. Good job. You know what? And I was laughing because besides Steffi, I think it was her brother that he appears in like. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He can join in today's class. No problem for me. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Excellent. Who else is missing? Boris? Eileen? Anita? Miss Eileen, go ahead. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> Okay, um, my email my email is for Pamela, my friend okay. Pamela. All right. 
Hi, Pamela. I'm going to go to the air airport to meet you the next Monday. Okay. I want to recognize me and my friend. Mm -hmm. I will be wearing red blouse, black pants, and black shoes. Mm -hmm. I am medium black hair, brown skin, medium age, and pretty tall. And I, and I, I think you will say pretty, pretty good, pretty woman. Go ahead. But you are. Go ahead. <laughs> And my friend was wearing blue blouse, uh, blue jeans, and white shoes. Okay. She's medium brown, brown hair, she white has. skin, okay. medium age, pretty tall, and beautiful woman. Of course, <laughs> like me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Excellent. Oh, yeah. When you said that she is, no, she has. She has um, a beautiful sorry. hair, for example, like that. Yes. Um, Very okay. good. Very good. Excellent. Good job. Who's missing? Esmeralda, Anita? Me. Hey, Esmeralda, <laughs> go ahead. We'll listen to you. I'm sorry, too. Okay. Uh, the email is for my mom. Your mama? Okay, cool. Okay. Hello, mom. I will to, uh, I will to go to the airport. On Saturday, mm -hmm. you will be able to recognize uh, I will be wearing a white t-shirt and blue mm -hmm. pants. Mm -hmm. I have short blonde hair. Mm -hmm. I, am I am tall. And I... And <laughs> And my company, my uh, compañero, company, my partner, my, my partner is Jenny. <laughs> Her name is Jenny, and he will wa he will wear a white blouse, white blouse? Mm -hmm. and black pants. Okay. He has short and straight hair. Very good. I hope to see you, Mom. Oh, that's good. Very good. Excellent job. Good try. Very good, Esmeralda. Excellent. Wow, you're doing so fine, guys. Who's missing? Ew. Me, teacher. Anita. Ah, oh, yes, Anita. Very good, Anita. Go ahead. Um, um, dear Mary. I'm happy to meet you soon. I really hope that you like like it here. I want to tell you that my friend of the university is coming with me mm -hmm. with me to wait for you in the airport the next airport. Saturday. Okay. I'm going to tell talk about my friend. She is very tall, slim, she has long way behind. Um, she's 20, 20, 20s. her twenties, uh huh. Very pretty, is very pretty, white skin, and her eyes are green. Wow. And, like me, like my ones. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I am short, straight hair, straight black hair, mm -hmm. slim. I am wear a white pant and red blows. I hope I see you soon. Very good. Excellent job, Anita. Very good. Good, good. Michek. Ew, what about you, girl? Ew. Hi. How are you, Hi. my girl? Are you? I am fine, but Air. I'm sorry to uh -huh. be late, but I had a meeting. No, that's OK. And... No problem. But you are here, and you came on time. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes. Are you um, ready for your email? A description of that yes. person? Yes. Okay, we're listening to you. Sí, 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 sí. Yes, yes. Quiero. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think sometimes I that was you morning. at the April at noon on Saturday. Are you going My to meet me? My friend is coming with me. Where about? Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. We're but in our 20s 
Our height is the same, and both wear glasses. Mm -hmm. But my friend has curly black hair, okay. curly black hair, and I have a long black hair. Okay. She's good looking and is very friendly. We wait for you soon. Best wishes, Eu. Hey, are you going to go with Stephanie? Yay! Yay! I knew it. <laughs> and then it's like, hey, very good, excellent job. Oh my God. I, 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 wait a minute. I, I, my heart is missing. Hey, <laughs> now we have the three. Excellent, very good. Okay, very good. Ew. Who's missing? Boris. What about you, my man, Boris? Boris, 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 Boris. I didn't do the homework. Yeah, because you were not in class yesterday, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. We're not uh, You had, didn't have time to. Yeah. Okay, don't worry. I will skip it. But you, you, you can give me the homework on my 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 send it to my uh, to my WhatsApp. Okay. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Okay, but you know what? You came on time in a really good um day because we're going to continue with this description guys but now we're going to use something else that we can also add when we like to example to to describe somebody but we don't have time to think about that person that that information of the person for example uh all of you have gone to a party right to a friend's party to uh i don't know uh, maybe like a baby shower or like bachelor party or whatever, right? Graduation party, etc. And sometimes you arrived, but you figured out that there are another another persons there in the same room that you already know, right? And you would like to talk about that person uh, with uh, maybe you are dancing and you say, "Hey, hey, Raúl is there?" Or "Air like um, Stephanie is there." Or like, Eo is there. You're like, Eo, who is Eo? Ah, you know that girl wearing those glasses like that? So basically, guys, we're going to um, learn about that today. We're going to learn uh, which are two questions that we can use when we're talking about that. For example, you can say, who's Raul? Or also you can say, which one is Raul? Let me write it for you. Let me use a Stephanie. Who's Stephanie? Stephanie Ramirez, because we have two Steffis, right? Oh, but I had to put like uh, some Ram Ramirez is with an accent, right, Steffi? Yes. Who's Stephanie Ramirez? I can ask like that way, guys. Who's Stephanie Ramirez? Or I can say, which one? is Stephanie Ramirez. Because in this case, guys, in this group, we do have uh, more than one Stephanie, right? We have two Stephies here. So we need to identify who is who, right? Okay, so who's Stephanie Ramirez? I mean, can ask Stephanie Ramirez. Which one is Stephanie Ramirez? Cual de, cual es, quien es, cual es? Call us Stephanie Ramirez. So, in order for us to um, to answer these questions, we will need to use guys in this case what we call modifiers with participles and preposition. Okay. For example, if we answer the first the first question, guys, who is Stephanie? We can answer that this way. He's the girl or she is the girl. You can say she is or you can say she's. Remember apostrophe S. She's the girl. Ooh, yes, she's the girl wearing green blouse, right? Am I correct? She's the girl wearing Greenhouse. That is the answer for the first question. Who's Stephanie Ramirez? He is the she's the girl wearing green blouse. Or if we can say who's a, who's um Janet Rodriguez? She's the girl wearing 
uh, pink blouse or pink flower blouse, for example, like that, right? We can say it like that. Okay, now how we're going to answer the second question. Which one is a Stephanie Ramirez? Which one? Ah, that's a really good question, right? Uh-huh. We can say it. she is the one, she's the one wearing green hat blouse, okay? You see what is the difference how we can answer this? She's the one. The one guy substitutes the word girl, substitutes the word man, substitutes the word woman or the kid, for example, depends who we are asking for, right? So you said, which one is Stephanie Ramirez? She's the one wearing green blouse, for example. Yeah? You understand what, how we're going to answer? So in this case, guys, the, the ING form is what we call in this case, participles and if you see guys we said wearing a green blouse but also we can use it. the word wearing in this case is what we call participles most, most of the time guys uh participles are verbs but in this case the verb wear in ing is not a, a ing one it's a participle what we call however also guys we can use prepositions as well to answer those questions that I have mentioned before. When, how we can do that? We can also say, who's Stephanie Ramirez? The same question, who's Stephanie Ramirez? Now using prepositions. She's the girl using preposition in green blouse. You see? Now I'm using preposition. What is a preposition? In, right? There's another, uh, we can also use another preposition. Mm -hmm. Let me check. Mm -hmm. Who's Stephanie Morales? She's the girl with another preposition, guys. With long black wavy hair. You see? Many ways. Preposition. I have used in and I have used with. And for example, let's pretend that we are in the party and Stephanie is had danced a lot and she wants to rest. So she's like Janet, she's on a sofa or in a, on a couch. And if I ask him, I'm dancing with Sirhan, for example. Hey, who's Stephanie Ramirez? You said that is a girl from your English class. Who's Stephanie Ramirez? And Mr. Sirhan said, she's the girl, or if you want to use one, I know she's the girl because I ask who is, right? She's the girl sitting. No, she's a girl on, on, on the couch. She's a girl on the couch. You see another preposition. We have just three prepositions, guys. We have just in, referring to the, the way she dressed, right? We have also used with, referring to her appearance, right? And we have used on, referring to where she is at the moment physically. So guys, you can also use this kind of uh, words and expressions to also help you describing a person. And that helps you guys when you are in the middle of a lot of people and you can uh, like, see each other physically, but you know a person that is in the same place as you. If you are in a party, you will know a lot of people. Maybe some of them, yes, maybe some of them, no. But um, you can ask for somebody, hey, who's that girl or who's that boy? Do you understand what we're talking about, guys? Yeah? 
Janet, Steffi, Serham, any questions, Carlitas? Eu? Serham, you have a question, uh, right? I know that. Uh -huh. Go yes. ahead. Uh -huh. Pint is for the describe clothes. What? The preparation in. 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 Yeah, what, you can say when, in. When they, when in. they use in. In, exactly, you can use in uh -huh. White House or in jeans. You can say in jeans. Okay. In dress. Describe. Uh huh. You can say in dress. For example, yeah. if everybody's wearing jazz pants and she's the only one in dress, uh -huh. right? Okay. Mm -hmm. with, or you can with with, with oh. describe describe appearance. Exactly. Okay, and um. Where for the person the is physically place. for the place, yes. For example, she is on the sofa, or she is on the table, or she's on the kitchen, right? Like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me share right now with you some information that I think will be really useful for you. I have it here. I ha I have divided, so hopefully you can see it. There you go. Okay. Can you see my screen? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so you see, this is what we're talking about. We have that, you see, we, we're using right now, guys, we're worrying and we are like learning modifiers with participles and prepositions. So this is the question, who's Raul? Which one is Raul? Who's Liz? Which one is Julia? You can ask for uh, two ways, which one or whose? And depends on how you're going to answer. So you're going to, that question, guys, you're, you'll have a way to answer. For example, if you said, Who's Raul, or in this case, who's Stephanie Ramirez? You use a pronoun, right? A pronoun, in this case, is he or she. Then we have the verb to be. We can use the man if we're talking about a man, but in this case, Stephanie is a girl. So we can use she's the girl. And here, guys, you have two options to describe persons. You can, you can use participles or you can use prepositions. The participles will be, guys, based on um, verbs, but in ing form. That's what we call in the, in English participles. As an example that you can see here, she's the woman or she's the girl wearing a green blouse, for example. But also, if you if you see a, a um, certain, you can if you're using participle, you can say she's the girl wearing a green blouse. But if you are using a preposition, you can say, she's the girl in, mm. right? In green blouse, for example. It depends. You can use participles or you can use prepositions. It's up to you. Whatever you feel comfortable with. But guys, if you're using who's the role, you got to put the man, the girl, etc. But if you're using the question, which one is, you are going to answer he's the one or she's the one, all right? Is it a little bit more clear? A little yes, bit clear? Yes. Yeah, much better? Yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's why I have chosen that because I want you guys to be clear about that. Now that we already have basically uh, learned some grammar thin, it's time guys for us to practice the listening part. But I want you guys just to practice the pronunciation of this because it's really, really important. Today, we're going to practice that contrastive stress in responses. So basically, guys, we're going to notice how the stress changes. But when we want to emphasize, emphasize contrasts, okay, opposites. So I want you guys to pay attention on that. I'm going to play the audio, just listen to it. And then I will share the writing part with you, okay? But first of all, I just want you to pay attention on this. So let me just a couple of minutes. And then we're going to do another audio activity. Just bear with me for a moment. Let me try to pop it up here really quickly. There you go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is the one that I need. Don't worry, I'm not going to forget to share this time. Remember that yesterday I forgot, right? Like, teacher, what happened? No, no anymore, not today. Okay, let me check. There you go. 
62. Exercise 10. Pronunciation. Contrastive stress in responses. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice how the stress changes to emphasize a contrast. Is Anthony the one wearing the red shirt? No, he's the one wearing the black shirt. Is Judy the woman on the couch? No, Diana is the woman on the couch. Can you win it one more time, guys? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Right yes. Now. Okay. Yes. Yes. Page 62, Exercise 10, Pronunciation. Contrastive Stress in Responses. Part A. Listen and Practice. Notice how the stress changes to emphasize a contrast. Is Anthony the one wearing the red shirt? No, he's the one wearing the black shirt. Is Judy the woman on the couch? No, Diana is the woman on the couch. Okay. There you go. You, did you listen to the pronunciation of, about the contrast? Okay, now guys, I'm gonna share with you the listening, the, the writing activity or the writing part. And I want you guys to pay attention of the stress changes when you emphasize the contrast, okay? That's what I want you to pay attention to. So let me just a couple of minutes. I'm gonna share right now with you. Give me just a moment. There you go. Just let me know when you guys receive it, please. There you go. Okay, there you go. Do you guys receive it? Do you have it there? Not yet. Not yet? What about now? Yeah? Right, right yeah. now. Cool, cool. Yeah. All right. So let me share right now with you. Okay, guys. So you see, guys, that we have questions, right? Is Anthony the one wearing the red shirt? That's the question. She said, oh, he's, oh, he said, no, he's the one wearing the black shirt. You see, you emphasize it. Okay, we have a lot of guys, but the one you're asking me is the one that wears the black shirt. He emphasized in the color, right? In the color of the shirt in this case. Now let's double check the other question. Is Judy the woman on the couch? No, Diana is the one on the couch. You see? Now in this case, guys, what am I emphasizing? Where is the person located or the name of the person that is on the on the couch? The name of the person. Exactly, exactly. So you see, guys, how we need to like change us to emphasize the contrast? The pronunciation will be really, really important because we would like to answer the question or just to give the right information depending on what they're asking us for. Okay, guys. So what I'm gonna do is do me a favor. Let's let's practice together, okay? Who can help me with the question? Go ahead, Sirhan. Can you please make the question A for the first dialogue, for the first one that I'm highlighting right now? Okay. Is Anthony the one wearing the red shirt? Very good. How you will answer that, Janet? No, he's the one wearing the black shirt. Very good, excellent. All right, now let me go to the second question. Uh, Stephanie Morales, can you please be so kind to read for me the second question? Steffi, Steffi, Steffi. Where's Steffi? Steffi, okay, I think she has a bad connection, right? What about Stephanie Ramirez? Go ahead, girl. Is Judy the woman on the couch? Aha, uh -huh. who can answer that? Eu, can you answer it, please? No, Diana is the woman on the couch. Eh, no, I do, look at the look at the um, the circle. Where is the emphasis on on the couch or in the name Diana? Diana. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. Very good. So answer one more time, please. No. 
Diana is the woman on the couch. Very good, excellent. Now guys, take a look at section B. Now, now, before, uh, before we listen to that part, I want you guys to analyze both questions and I want you to let me know where with that is the where is in the answer we need to put the emphasis in which word we can put an emphasis in an adjective in a noun where take a look at the questions and then try to answer i will give you one minute and then you let me know where do you think we need to put the emphasis Finish? Okay. Who can help me read the question? Uh, Boris, are you with me? Boris, 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 yes. Boris, Boris. Okay, cool. I am Don't here. You? Very good. I'm happy to hear that. Do me a favor. Can you read for me this question? The one that I'm highlighting right now? Okay. Is Brittany the one sitting next to the caddy? Next to Katty? Okay, who can answer for me that question? Eileen, can you please be so kind to answer it? Eileen, Miss Eileen, where is she? I think Eileen is not here. What about Anita, Anita Romero? Can you please answer from us? Yes, um, no. She's the one standing next to Cari. Very good. So in that in that answer, Anita, which part of the of the answer you have to emphasize in order to see the contrast? Um, which one do you think? To? Oh yeah, very good. So now uh, answer again, but give me the emphasize where they need to be. Oh, oh, answer again, Anita, but but put the emphasis in the word next to. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, she is the one standing next to Katie. Very good, Anita. Excellent job, girl. Very good. Now, next one. Carlitos uh, Polanco, can you please read for me the second question? Carlitos Polanco. Yes. Oh, very good. Yes, yes, yes. Is Donald the one on the couch? Very good. Who can help me with that? Uh, Jenny, can you please be so kind to answer? No, he's the one behind the couch. Aha. Uh -huh. So in that sentence, in that answer, Jenny, which word do you think we need to put the more emphasis, the more strong voice? Which behind? One? Very no, good. Behind the couch. Very good. Oh my God. You're so amazing. Excellent. Excellent job. Exactly. That's what I need. So you see, guys, that also it is important to practice the pronunciation, the emphasis, yeah, in order for us to, to transmit that correct message or the message that is supposed to be. Okay. That's what is really, really important. Sometimes, guys, people say that reading is just reading and it's easy. No, re re correct reading is learning, it's learned. So we're going to try to be on Saturday, on Monday. That will be our last class, <laughs> all righty. And we're going to emphasize on articles because I want you guys to work on the analytic part of, of articles. We're going to talk about a lot of reading. We're going to develop the reading skill that day. Okay, we're going to force on that. I just want to um, congratulate you guys. You were so amazing. 
I know that it has been a really tough week for most of you, tire uh, accidents, emergencies, etc. But um, you are here, and that's why I'm happy. And the teacher is sick, but still, is, she's here. Yeah, and you know what? I found out, and my sister has an emergency right now in Costa Rica. <laughs> she's where she has a uh, four dogs, right? And they got an accident, the dogs. But let me let you know what happened. Because <laughs> my, where my sister lives is like, a, oh my God, it's like in a big forest. I can let you know, it's like in the middle of a forest. And uh, there's a lot of animals there, right? So I think the dogs found out a stinky. You know what a stinky is? Um, you know what it is? So Rio, stinky? Yeah, mm -hmm. no, but but uh, there's another one. Oh, uh, how do you say that? Uh, el que tira los zorrillo. Uh, no, las púas. Zorrillo. Ah, las puerco 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 Thank you. So I puerco think they puerco. they found that porque because oh I I am going to speak in Spanish. Ah, I will try to do my best. <laughs> um, <laughs> encontraron un zorrillo, un zorrillo un puerco espín. Y todos tienen las púas acá. Están en emergencia. Porque G Gama, que es la, una pitbull, tiene aquí en la trompita, tiene un montón de púas. Y las otras chiquitas la tienen okay. en el trasero. Ya. Yeah. So, can you imagine? Están en emergencia. Ahorita me acaba de decir que se encontraron uno de esos. So, duele, right? Uh. Pobrecitas, así que ahí les mandaré fotos para compartir cómo está la pobre cama. Ok. Uh, hey, guys. Okay. Okay. Ha sido un gustazo haber estado con ustedes este día. Oh, wait a minute. ¿Cómo está mi español? Mejor, ¿verdad? Mucho mejor. Um, dice Stephanie, sí. Gracias. Yeah. Eh, trato de, de hablar lo mejor que pueda en español. Um, estoy muy contenta por el trabajo que han hecho ustedes. Lo han hecho muy, muy bien. Uh, se han esforzado. Sé que no les es fácil. Muchos están cansados, como Mr. Polanco, que tiene que estar a la par con Snoopy, right? Um, también Janet, que tiene sus ojitos cansados. Uh -huh. O oh, Steffi, que también no la ha pasado muy bien esta semana con emergencias y corriendo por todos lados. Um, EU, que sí les va mal también a veces. Boris, que está trabajando. Sirhan, que también le toca pesar. Jenny, que tiene sus bebés, pero bueno, cada quien tiene sus circunstancias, pero el hecho de verlos acá para mí es muy importante y me hace sentir que el esfuerzo vale la pena cada vez que los veo y le echan ganas. Me hace sentir feliz porque es algo que a ustedes les va a ayudar bastante. Cuando tú aprendes inglés se te abren muchas puertas, demasiadas puertas diría yo. And es muy importante hoy en día aprender el idioma y aprenderlo bien. Lo siento si de vez en cuando casi me, me, me estrangulan a veces ustedes. <ríe> lo siento, <ríe> pero quiero que aprendan, lo aprendan bien. Um, no Sé que no es fácil porque a veces uh, hay unos que tal vez tenemos desarrollado la parte del cerebro de los lenguajes. Hay otros que nos cuesta un poquito más. Nadie tiene la misma velocidad y ritmo de aprendizaje. Eso no es así. Nadie es igual. No. Y también uh, la edad a veces también cuesta un poco. También no es lo mismo un chiquillo aprendiendo un idioma que un joven o un adulto. No es lo mismo. Pero eso no significa que no puedas. Pero tienes que echarles más ganas. Eso sí. Porque en mi caso yo lo hablo desde que tengo tres años. <ríe> ¿Te imaginas? Sí. Desde que tengo tres añitos. El español y el inglés va a la par con mi en mi caso. Entonces es como mi pan de cada día, por decir así. Y, y lo estudié, lo estudié por mi cuenta para más que todo el área de gramática, así como lenguaje acá en El Salvador, ¿verdad? Como lenguaje, lo estudié de los 8 a los 14 años. Entonces, híjole, porque tenía que estudiarlo. Entonces, imagínate de cuando yo hablo ese idioma, hace un montón, ¿verdad? Sí, pero y creo que fui afortunada de aquí poder hablarlo así, pero deseo, estamos aquí para ayudarles, para echarle la mano 
y pues para, um, para poder ir con ustedes de la mano en esta nueva meta que ustedes tienen en su vida personal y en su vida profesional también. Y yo espero que ustedes lo logren realmente. Y lo han hecho muy bien, ¿eh? Han puesto mucho de su parte este módulo. Y en mi caso personal, yo me siento muy feliz por cada uno de ustedes porque he visto su progreso y las ganas que le han echado. ¡Ey, qué bonito me salió el español! ¿Qué tal, eh? No está tan mal, eh. Muy bien, muy bien. Muchas gracias, bien. Boris. Muchas gracias. Sí, sí, sí. Me siento así como medio rara porque a mí se me cruzan las palabras. Pero yo creo que el haber estado en un call center donde tenía que hablar, te, mi cerebro tenía que estar dividido en tres, porque de repente hablaba inglés, de repente español, de repente francés y de repente vas aquí. O sea, no sabía qué me iba a tocar hablar. Sí, entonces creo que eso me ayudó un poquito. Porque no es fácil eh, estar hablando un idioma todo el día y de remate hacer switch al cassette. No es fácil. Porque no se te viene nada a la mente. Se te viene más la pala una palabra. A veces tú sabes cómo se dice esa palabra en el idioma que hablas. Pero no se te viene la palabra donde tienes que traducirlo. No se te viene. No sé si les ha pasado, pero a mí me pasa. Una vez, hasta, eh, creo que pasé como unos ocho meses puro francés. Pero puro francés. Nada de español. Salí a comer con mi esposo. Y alguien estaba hablando y yo sabía que estaba hablando español, pero no le entendía nada. Porque mi cerebro ya estaba atopado desde las seis de la mañana hasta las cinco y media de la tarde hablando en francés todo el día. ¿Te imaginas? Uf, eso fue horrible. Pero, pero... <ríe> sí, practiquen, échenle ganas con los audios que les mando. Sé que hasta, oh, pero es muy importante. Y se me dice, no, se le, no me les pude mandar ayer el del email, pero hoy sí, los, hoy se los mando, eh, definitivamente. Porque, okay. eh, porque tienen que practicarlo. Es muy importante porque les va a ayudar en su trabajo. Muchísimo, muchísimo. Nosotros o nos comunicamos mucho por correo electrónico, ¿verdad? Entonces es súper importante. O si van de viaje y tienen que hacer una reservación de vuelo. O en un hotel, ¿verdad? Tienen que dar su correo, entonces, todo eso. Entonces, vamos a practicar. Y um, quisiera saber, pero eso va a ser para ustedes durante el fin de semana. Si hay algún tema de los que hemos visto so far, que ya ven que yo siempre me doy inglés porque se me va, este, uh, que a ustedes se les dificulte un poquito o que no hayan entendido muy bien, me dicen, yes. y lo podemos reinforce, ¿sí? Le podemos, no sé si se reinforce, ¿cómo se dice? Reforzar. Ya bien. ¿Sí? ¿Me parece? Vaya, pues, a comer se ha dicho, entonces, y a dormir un cachito. Perfecto. <risa> Hugs sí. and kisses. Que tengan Good un feliz night. fin de semana. Chao. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.